What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tackle Vassin. Today I'm out on Clear Lake, got off of work, came out for a couple hours, uh, out here with JD. JD is my oldest son, he's six years old. So uh, trying to teach him how to throw a bait caster and we're doing a little bit of frogging. A little bit of frogging, a lot of picking backlashes. So we're out here fishing and he's going through some of my frog boxes. And I, I got a few, I got tons of frogs. You know Matt and I, we love throwing frogs. And uh, he asked me a question, Dad, why do you have so many different frogs? And uh, it got me thinking that, I know Matt and I, we preach, you know, we throw this frog, this frog, and this frog 90% of the time. And that is very true. Between the bully wah, the spitting wah, and the snag proof, those are our three main go-to frogs. But there's quite a few frogs I actually have in my arsenal that uh, don't get as much love, but they have a time and a place. And so that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Some of these extra frogs that I have that I use in my arsenal, depending on the circumstances. So number one is going to be the tackle, the, the sprinker. You guys, JD, let me see that one real quick. You guys know that we love this one. Uh, this is pretty much a weedless whopper plopper. It's a frog with a paddle, paddle tail on it. You can throw this right through the sparse grass, fish it weedless, and it's a lot of fun. One of the baits I really wanted to talk to you guys about today that actually JD uh, picked out. This is the depths, and I don't know that I've ever actually done a video on this frog or even talked about it. Uh, I can't remember the exact name. I think it's like the Basariski or something like that. Good cast, bud. Uh, but this thing, it's, it's very fun to fish. It's easy to fish because all you do is reel it. And it has a real, hopefully you guys can see that. If not, I'll get some up close shots. But it's got a real wide thump side to side. A lot like the sprinker. It's almost like a combination of like the old jitterbug, that top water that really went side to side. But these two legs right there, they cup water and they they uh, real erratic, real violent side to side action. Very easy to fish. Uh, you know, when we're out here, we're fishing sparse grass. What well, this is one of the baits that that I uh, I like to throw. Now, we get a lot of questions, you know, talking about the bully wall too. Let me grab one of those real quick. So hands down, by far, this is Matt and I's favorite frog, the bully wah too. It's got a real big keel on it, makes it very easy to walk. And uh, we get a lot of questions about that. You know, the guys having trouble throwing this in the slop, in the real thick mats. A lot of the fishing, a lot of the frog fishing we do, let me turn this real quick. See all those birds out there? There's grass all out there and it's real sparse grass. All the bait fish will sit in it and the bass sit in it. So when we're walking frogs through that, that's that's when we use the bully wall because it's very easy to walk. It's great hooks, great colors. You know, little Alan, Matt and I designed this color. Um, that is what we're mainly doing here on Clear Lake. Now, if you look over here, minus the console, hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see. You see that mat back in there, that real thick stuff? Or you see some of these toolies, or maybe like some, some duckweed, something like that. That is not where you're gonna throw the bully wall. That is where you're gonna throw something like the snag proof or the copper, something with a, a, a flatter face, something that's gonna move a lot more water. It's gonna weigh heavier. You want, you want that frog to make a disturbance on that mat. Some of those mats are very thick, especially in the California Delta. So you want something that is heavier, moves a lot of that mat, but does not have a keel on it. This is Isha's new frog, the Fat Mat Daddy. Uh, this is specifically designed for mat fishing. But if you look at the difference between the, uh, where'd it go? The Bully Wah 2 and the, the the Fat Mat Daddy, you can see the difference. See how flat, see how flat this one is? Moves a lot more water, it, it pushes a lot more water. Well this has that real deep V, that keel, for walking side to side. So this is gonna be your open water frog, this is gonna be your mat frog. Again, Clear Lake, it's 
a lot of what we do is offshore grass fishing. So we talked about the tackle. We talk about the depths. Again, that if you guys haven't played around with this frog, it's it's a very easy frog to throw. Like I said, cast it out, reel it in. Very easy. You don't have to walk it or anything. The tackle. It's just new frog. And then some of the other frogs that I had in my box that, that probably don't get talked about very often or as much as they should. Uh, back last year. Going to be like the Spro, the little, their little popping frog. And again, don't, well, just like every video, we'll put links down to all the stuff down below in the video description. Here, throw a different frog, bud. Throw, throw this one. The little Spro is a real small popping frog. Very, very tight action when you walk it. It, it, it spits just a little bit. It's like a, like a little tiny popper that's weedless. So when you compare that to the spitting wah that Matt and I throw, a lot bigger presentation, cups a lot more water, a lot more water displacement, a lot bigger hook. So I actually change the hook out on the Spro uh, if I'm fishing it here on Clear Lake. A little get, get, get a bigger hook gap uh, and just a little bit more stout of a hook especially here on clear lake with the with the big clear lake bass but you can see these these are both popping frogs but you can see the size comparison real real quickly again jd asked why i throw many so many different frogs but this is just kind of a 101 on the frogs that i use we talked about that guy the jackal gavacho this is a sweet frog very realistic colors. Matt's talked about this in previous videos. That to me is kind of replaced that that Spro. It's just it's just a, a good looking frog. It catches them, it has a real good hook angle on it. You can see how they're angled up. So you don't have to jack them as hard to get real good hook penetration. But the Gavacho, and this guy right here, this is uh, the old Furbit. This guy, when it's wet, it's got a, a furry tail, very soft frog, real distinct cup on it. So you can move a lot of water when you're popping this. It's like a big popper, very easy for the fish to uh, compress and get this in their mouth. But uh, evergreen, I've been playing around with the evergreen. This is the uh, SS77, a very large frog as, as far as length. It's got a little cupped face on it, and this thing spits a lot of water. Actually, not a lot. It spits, so it, it kicks up a lot of water. Um, when you see bait fish spitting, you know, busting the surface and popping, that this almost mimics that perfectly. But what I liked about this is it has that long, that, that fur bit tail on it. It's got that fur that really, in the water, it kind of puffs up. Uh, a little different presentation than your normal your traditional frog legs, you know, that spread out. But uh, this is the new Evergreen SS77, I believe. Don't quote me, again, I'll link it down there. But this is another cool frog I've been playing around with. It walks very easily, and uh, it's a combination of a large frog that walks very easily with a little bit of a spit. So again, those are those are some of the, the frogs that don't get talked about very often in our frog videos because here on Clear Lake, we specifically target certain things, but every frog in the box has its specific use. So uh, we're gonna get back to frogging, but there you guys have it. That is just kind of some, some frogs that maybe not get very much love or get talked about a lot, um, but uh, you should play around with and, and add them to your tackle box, add them to your arsenal, guys. If you guys learned anything or you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Remember, subscribe to our channel. Matt and I, do, we're doing three videos a week. Hopefully you guys got to watch the girls mess them up on a frog. Uh, Tanya and Cece, Matt and I, we went, we, we watched the kids and, and they got out fishing. And uh, hopefully you guys got to see that. I'll put a link to the video up here. But uh, they blasted some frogs. They got some big ones. They are, they are good fishermen. Tanya, my wife, she grew up fishing with me. She's more of a finesse finesse fisherman. So I'm teaching her how to throw a bait caster and stuff. But uh, Cece, you guys saw her working that frog and jacking those hook sets. She's a power fisherman and uh, she she fishes tournaments. That is her boat. Uh, she's got a PB of 14, so she, she knows what she's doing. So again, guys, if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we will talk to you soon, guys.
Have a good one.